Okay. The... Is this too personal tag? Um, I haven't read the questions yet, so I don't know what they are or anything. I haven't watched the video, I just clicked on one and... Yeah. Anyway, let's start. Do you believe in love? Yes, I do. Um, very optimistic that I will find love and everything. Um, I have fallen in love, but kind of didn't go both ways there. <laughs> Out of all my past, all your past relationships, who is the one person you regret dating? Well, I've only had like three relationships. Two girls, one boy. Um, I regret dating the boy. Actually, that was 08. I thought I still liked guys and everything. Dated him for about three months. Yeah, I totally regret that one. Um, who was the last person I texted? My mum. I you know it sounds really cheesy and everything, but the last person I texted was my mum. Um, what is the one thing you think is simply beautiful in a person? Just their personality, general bubbliness, if that's even a word. Um, if they're sweet, kind, caring from the first moment, then I, I admire that and find it really beautiful in a person. So yes, that would be it. Um, how, sorry, have you ever did, I think that's what should be done, something you regret while being drunk? Well, newsflash, I've never been drunk, so... Not yet, anyway. Maybe wait till my 18th birthday in September and I'll redo this. Kidding. Um, what religion were you raised and do you agree with those beliefs? Well, I was raised in a household where there's no religion at all. I used to go to church when I was little because my choice. I was baptised as Anglican but I don't really go by any religion. I did go to temple for a while, Buddha and stuff, yeah, with a friend. She was really sweet. Miss her. Off the top of here, anyway. No, I was not raised by a belief. I wasn't really, I wasn't raised with a religion or any beliefs, so yeah. Um, do you believe in giving second, sorry, I can't speak. Do you believe in giving second chances? Um, really depends on the person and what they did. If it's like I dated someone, they cheated, hell no. Um, but yeah, really depends on what happened and who it was. And if I, yeah. Do you have any other tabs right now in your Internet Explorer? If so, what are they? Well, I don't use IE. I use Chrome. So this is what I have open beside YouTube. Facebook and eBody. Pretty boring, I know. <laughs> um, are you good at coping with stressful situations. TBH? No. School stress? Like, well, don't really have to worry about that anymore because I dropped out. Um, school stress wasn't that bad, except at school. Um, you used to stress about stress about my sexuality and stuff and that kind of was a big roller coaster ride for me. Um, if you guys want me to make a video on how I coped with that badly, 
and advice and stuff. I gladly do that. Um, do have I ever? Yeah, have I ever skipped school? Yes, when I was dating the guy in eighth grade, year eight, eighth grade. <laughs> anyway, yes, we did skip school together while we were dating. Um, we went to my auntie's house, which was um, in a totally different suburb to which the school was, which was funny. We skipped for the whole day. Actually, we went to roll call in the morning, left, caught the train, bus train to my auntie's house. She gave us money to go back to school. We got in time just for lunch and last two periods. I went to last, um, last two periods, which was visual arts. He had to go to the principal's office because they noticed he skipped and they didn't notice I did, so it was all good. Um, and he came back to class with a little paper note saying he was admitted back into class. But he told the teacher, and she's like, so dumb, but so hot. Um, she t he told the teacher that I had to go see the principal or whatever. So we were, she didn't check the note to say it was to him come back into class. Um, so we walked out of class walked that way so it looked like we were going to the principal's office and then we ducked because it was like the window at the back where you walk back t to go out the car parkway so we ducked and ran down there and went to Macca's for the rest of the day pretty cheap date I know but very fun <laughs> um am I happy with my current weight kind of yes kind of no to be honest, I don't really know my current weight, so I can't really answer that question. Do I prefer texting, calling, or talking online? Texting and talking online are the major ones for me. I'm not a big fan of talking on the phone unless it's to my mom or someone I really, really care about and really need to hear their voice because I miss them so much. That hasn't really happened, but yeah. Texting and talking online are my preferred ways of speaking to people. Um, have you ever questioned your sexuality? Um, I used to, while I was figuring out everything and that, didn't want to be gay, but that's just the way God made me. Um, have you ever lied about your age? No. Oh, sorry. Rewind. Yes, I have. My auntie. Actually, my auntie lied about my age. We went to the club, like, just like a bistro or whatever, like the Catholic pub or whatever, and it was all you can eat. And it, the prices went by your age. I was 12 or whatever. She said I was eight, just so she didn't have to pay as much. But what can you do? Do you believe in God? If and if so, do you pray? Yes, I believe in the man upstairs. Um, sounds really corny. Oh well, too bad, too sad. And if so, do you pray? Um, I pray occasionally, but not as often as I probably should. Um, yeah. What is one thing in life that truly scares you? One thing in life that truly scares me. Probably dying before I find love and happy and adopt kids and stuff. Yeah. And losing my mum. That's one of my biggest fears ever. Um, what is the last thing you looked at that reminded you of someone? Probably my statuette. Yeah, because I look at that every time I go to this screen, to, this, to the webcam. 
or whatever. Um, so I'll show you my little statuette that my friend gave me. Let's see, it says Michael Jackson. Date of birth, date of death. No, it's just like him, Billy Jean outfit. It's so cute. I was a major fan. So sad when he died. So sad when Whitney died. Anyway, off topic. Um, last question. Are you happy where you are in your life right now? Mm, not really. I'd really like to be up on stage singing and performing and stuff instead of just for you guys on YouTube. So, yeah. Not really. And that does it. See you.